Hi guys, and welcome back to the underneath of my 944, where today we fix uh, the power steering issue. So first, you gotta take off this big old skid plate right here with 10 millimeter. It's probably a little bit smaller than that, but I don't have anything smaller than that. It'll be okay. I'm sorry for everyone that's gonna get upset because it doesn't fit perfectly. It'll be okay. I'm gonna take off this front, see if I can get to that power steering pump like that. If not, I'm gonna have to take off the whole thing, which is gonna suck. But it's just these three bolts for now. Uh, and yeah, I'll get back with you guys on that. All right, so now that we got all those out, this thing actually fell down beautifully because, uh, yeah, it's old and plastic and it's been broken. So luckily, I have easy access to this bolt here and that bolt up there, which are the two that I need to take off. Let's put on the new piece that I actually have in my pocket right here. So... It's actually a really high quality piece. I got off of Pelican Parts, which is where I get literally everything because they have literally everything. Um, I also know that those bolts are 13 millimeter and so are these because of their website because they have amazing, amazing how-tos and yeah, they're amazing. So go check them out. Not sponsored, but yeah, Pelican Parts is great if you have a 944. All right, so yeah, guys, this is the actual part. This is part of the turnbuckle. This little, that right there, that was uh, the original one. <laughs> yeah, it um, it broke. I don't know how, but it broke. But yeah, this is a 13 millimeter bolt here. The one on the back, I think it was also supposed to be a 13, but it definitely wasn't, because um, I had to put the crescent wrench on there, because I had a 13 millimeter wrench, but it would not fit it. But yeah, we got this off. Time to get the other bolt off now too. It is right here. See, it's got the other end of the piece on it. Uh, and then we can put that piece in to get this belt tightened up a lot. See, so yeah, we got this second piece off here. But yeah, that is uh, missing a whole bit of that in the middle. <laughs> All right, now let's put this new piece on and get this thing tightened down so I can actually drive this car again. All right, so I got it on there. Um, now it's time to tension this thing up. Honestly, it's already tighter. And it's literally not moving already. <laughs> so this, I think this will actually fix it completely. Well, not completely. It's still gonna leak a little bit because as I discovered earlier, well, late last year, there's a little bit of leak that comes right out of here if you turn all the way to the right, I think. Um, but yeah, that will definitely help a lot. It'll actually keep my steering from just cutting out randomly. And potentially my power steering just completely dying and falling off my car or whatever happens to it. So yeah. All right, so it is now officially in there. The belt is tight. I'm not sure how tight this belt's supposed to be. Um, I couldn't find anything on that. So I made it a little bit looser than the main serpentine belt because a figure it's smaller, it probably shouldn't be as tight or it might break easier, I don't know. Uh, it's just a thought. If you guys know how tight this is supposed to be, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, we tightened this down, got it supported. This thing ain't moving nowhere. We got them bolts real tight on there. So yeah, I think, if, I think it's fixed, but there's only one more thing to see. Start it up, see how that belt rolls. Um, and then we can even see if we can get it off of this ramps. Which, I mean, we have to put a lot of wood down because obviously it's fairly low-ish and it will scrape. So yeah, it's time to start it up after I wash my hands first because I don't want to get stuff all over the interior. Also, I need to make sure I don't have stuff all over my back. But yeah, hopefully it's fixed. All right, let's go ahead and see if she starts up. I'm sure she will. Um, yeah, I have no doubt in my mind that it'll start. But we are going to... Start her on up here. Analyze how this belt is doing. <laughs> Actually, fire right up. Wow, okay. Let's see how this belt is doing then. See if she turns properly. All right, so guys, we got the 944 down without scraping. Um, now, I want to check something. 
coolant. I ran out, basically, almost, uh, a few weeks ago. Um, now, I don't, I, it's blue. I know the blue, it's, the coolant's blue, the balloon's cool. The coolant's blue, you can see where it's been in here, but there's no, like, actual mark. You can see it moving, like I've seen before when I filled it up. So, hopefully I don't have another coolant issue. If I do, hopefully the place I took it to the first time in the middle of November, whoever remembers that when uh, the car basically overheated in the middle of winter, the cooling pump broke, and it was like $1,700 later. Hopefully they'll fix it for free since they fixed it the last time. Um, but yeah, I don't see any in there. Um, I'm also going to check oil level because I just changed that, and I want to make sure it's fine. But yeah, I don't see, I mean, I see, like I said, I see blue in here, and I see it right there. It's moving around right in there, but I don't see it along here. Um, so yeah, we'll see about that. All right, well guys, the oil level definitely is good. I just checked that, but the coolant level um, still isn't. So I'm saying I'm probably gonna make a run to advance to get more coolant to make it good, <laughs> to make it not low again. Um, huh. It's going to be really annoying if it is leaking again. All right, well, guys, I just went to advance. Uh, I got some coolant. Haven't put it in yet. Um, obviously, it's also going to take some time to see if there's really a coolant leak happening. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to end off the video here. Next week, I'll pick back up with how's the 944's coolant doing. Um, because I don't know. I really hope it doesn't have a leak, but I think it does. Um... But yeah, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a like if you liked it. Um, I try to be a little bit more informational this time around. Try to, you know, tell you bolt sizes and what to do. And it was a really simple job. I think that I did it completely by myself. Like, and I'm not a mechanic by any means of the imagination. I am definitely not a mechanic. But I, yeah, I did it by myself. It was very easy. Uh, I tried to tell you all the bolt sizes. Tried to tell you guys what, you, what to do. Um recommended some stuff for you guys so if you do have 944s and you have that same issue where the steering just all of a sudden stops working and then starts getting and stops and starts and stops and squeaks and stuff yeah check that uh check that um turnbuckle there to see if it's actually still there anyway leave a comment um what you guys think about that um how tense i have that belt i'm not sure how tense it's supposed to be but or any other thoughts anything like that uh, go ahead and share the video so I can get out to more people. Maybe some more people need to know this so they can be educated. So go ahead and share that. Um, but yeah, I will leave it off here with the back end of the 944 with the coolant I got. And uh, yeah, we'll pick this up next video. See what kind of stuff or how much coolant is gone, if there's any gone. Hopefully there's none gone. See you guys next video.